So the basic idea of the genetic tools is uh, that, well, timber that is on the market always comes along with paper documents. And uh, especially in March 2013, in the next March, we have the EU timber regulation that, that uh, is getting in force and is asking for each timber that is imported to the EU uh, for due diligence on legality. And that means also uh, the obligation to give the information on the species, botanical name of the species, and the country of origin and the region within the country where the timber is from. And uh, we, with the genetics and also with stable isotopes, we are developing tools that enable to control if these paper documents are correct. Basically, well, for the genetics, the DNA in the tree is always the same. Uh, it gets degraded, but if the DNA markers that we use are small enough, they can, they can even tackle this problem of degraded DNA. They are still working. And that cannot be manipulated. That is a big uh, advantage. So basically, we are working on reinforcement tools for this new law, the EU timber regulation, but also for timber companies that want to take care by themselves. So with other words, we directly uh, support legality. So those companies who have a, a really a big interest to show that they're working only with uh, legal timber, we, we are helping them as well with such a project. <coughs> I can say a little bit about the process in Germany. So the EU timber regulation got implemented in a national law. And uh, we as the Tuning Institute are now uh, mentioned in this law as the central focal point where the physical controls will be done uh, on the sampling approach for timber that gets on the market in Germany. And there are more than 700 importing companies already registered. And 10 to 20% of those companies will be checked uh, by state agencies and from a part of those we will get samples and uh, either analyze them by ourselves or by the network of labs like the ISTOP net uh, lab uh, to check if the declarations are correct. 